All right, yeah, uh, right now we're going to do the coding yeah, for the uh, first screen. Yeah, so uh, let me switch back to the first screen. Yeah, so this one, yeah, so let me click the main activity that Java file and let me increase the um, font size. Okay. All right, okay, so we can see that uh, we need uh, declare okay, variables to associate with the uh, first edit text view here and second one, the third one and the button, okay. So okay, uh, we need to get a name, get those variables okay, uh, to something more meaningful, okay. So uh, this one okay, will be the first one, okay. And then I'm going to call it, okay, uh, I'm going to, okay, sorry, this text view, we don't need it, okay. Okay, so this one, okay, we're going to call it, uh, uh, edit the text, okay, and then number of uh, years, okay. okay. Tab away, okay, click yes, okay. This one, we're going to call it, okay, edit the text, okay, car long, okay, uh, amount, okay. Tab away, okay, click yes. This one, we're going to call it, ET, edit the text, uh, interest rate, okay. In interest okay, rate, okay, uh, ATE, okay, click yes, all right, okay, so, so far so good. The button over here, okay, I'm going to call it VTN, okay, car payment, okay, car payment, click yes, all right, and then let me switch back to the main activity file, okay, so main activity file. I don't think we need to use the, uh, uh, the uh, GUI here as a reference. Okay, so let me just uh, expand the screen size. Okay, so now I'm going to declare okay, available to associate with the uh, uh, edit text box okay, for the number of years. So let me uh, try something like this. Okay, uh, find view by ID r dot ID okay, dot uh, edit text box. Okay box okay, for the number of years, okay. And then on the right hand side, okay, I need to declare a variable, okay, and then call it uh, edit text, okay. And then this one will be uh, the number okay, of years, okay. You go to this one, okay, and then uh, make sure we cast okay, the data type, the object to the right data type, okay. edit the text, all right. And I will do the same okay, quickly okay, for the uh, uh, car long. Okay, so car long amount. Okay, so this will be the uh, ET. Okay, ET will be the car long amount. Okay, and then this name will be uh, car long amount. Okay, and then this one will be for the uh, interest, okay, interest, okay, interest rate, okay, and then this will be the uh, text box, okay, uh, not text box, edit the text box, okay, for the uh, interest rate, okay, all right, okay, and we also need uh, one for the uh, button, okay, so by ID, R ID, okay, okay. That, uh, the button, okay, here, there you go. And then let me declare available or button type, okay, button. And then let me call it the variable, okay, card payment, okay, all right. Okay, so, so far so good, okay, so far so good. Okay, and then, okay, we're going to, uh, I set up the okay, unclick event. Oh, sorry, I missed the equal sign. And also cast the object to button type, okay? And then again, okay, now we're going to set up the un buttons unclick event. Okay, so let me try this, okay. BTN, okay, pay, car payment dot, okay, set unclick listener new, okay. okay unclick listener, okay? And then get okay, uh, what we want to do over here is that, when the button is clicked, okay, then uh, we're going to uh, retrieve okay, the uh, values okay, 
uh, entered by the user okay, for the number of years, okay, for the car loan amount, okay, for the interest rate. Okay. So again, uh, I'm not very good at recording and typing. Okay, so I have uh, variables okay, uh, set up already. Okay. And I'm going to copy and paste the code here, okay, to just to save time. And then okay, I will uh, explain to you okay, as well, okay. So uh, this one give me some okay, uh, uh, complaint, okay. So let me just add the keyword here, okay, final, okay. Yeah. And then this one will be final as well, okay. And this one will be final as well. Okay, so final, all right. Okay, so now it is fine. Okay, so you can see that uh, my variable over here, okay, uh, will be uh, getting value okay, from the uh, editor text box, okay. Uh, and then, okay, uh, it will be converted to the uh, integer data type, okay. So again, I assume that okay, you, uh, uh, can uh, check the book okay, about okay, those okay, uh, uh, function calls, okay? And then, okay, uh, uh, I think uh, that will be all right now okay, as for uh, how to uh, use the, uh, the edited text, okay. uh, sorry, how to use the um, uh, persistence okay, uh, data, okay? then I will cover that uh, next, okay? So I will also, okay, uh, write the code over here, okay, to uh, transit, okay, to the uh, second screen, okay, so new, okay, intent, okay, and this will be the uh, parent, okay, first parameter, parameter represent the parent, okay, uh, object or activity, and then the next one will be the payment again, that class, okay? So let's okay, uh, uh, try it out, okay, uh, okay, uh, code right now, okay? So let me okay, stop the previous okay, activity or app, okay, and then run this one. So far, so good. Okay, let me enter the number of year, maybe four, the car amount, okay, 12,000, uh, okay. The interest rate, okay, let's say 0 0.04, okay. And then click uh, car payment, okay. So you should transit to the uh, second screen, which is correct, okay. Uh, the reason we don't see the text message over here is that okay, uh, theoretically it will be, uh, uh, populated okay uh, once the uh, monthly amount is calculated okay so uh, as of now which is correct okay which is correct so let me stop the uh, video now okay.